Today, I'm house hunting around the beautiful countryside of Tarn et Garonne in southwest France. I'm Nora Hamilton, and for over 20 years, I've had a passion for buying, renovating, and selling property. Today, I'm going to be using all my skills to find the perfect place for house hunter Keith and his friend Neil. And I get that sinking feeling. I want you to be 100% honest. It's not floating my boat at all. Before delivering a knockout property. Beautiful. Absolutely stunned, really. I spy an opportunity at a luxury chateau. It feels like it could be the, the perfect boutique hotel. But at the end of the day, do I find my house hunters their perfect place in the sun? I'm blown away. Keith has had a love affair with France ever since his school days, and now he's finally realising his lifelong dream and buying a home here that one day he may well retire to. To help him make this life-changing decision, he's bringing along his best friend, Neil. Keith, who lives in Gloucestershire, has a budget of £180,000 to buy a holiday home with rental potential in this beautiful part of France. It's been a dream since I was a, you know, in school, really. I can just picture myself walking down to the local boulangerie, really, and buying a couple of croissants, sitting on a balcony, sipping coffee, eating croissants. He's asked Neil along to keep him from getting carried away while they look for his dream property. The decision making is totally down to him. I'm probably the voice of reason. Yeah. Yeah. The department of Tarnet Garonne in southwestern France is about nine hours' drive from Calais. Or if you want to fly, the nearest airport is Toulouse, which is roughly two hours' flight time from the UK. Then it's around a drive. Tarn et Garonne is a mainly agricultural region, named after the rivers Tarn and Garonne that flow through it. With so much fresh produce and wine coming from the region, it's a real foodie hotspot, and it's also popular with walkers, cyclists and lovers of the outdoor lifestyle. It's still a mainly French region, but there are around 3,000 Brits living here, out of an overall population of around 250,000. In Tarn et Garonne, property have risen by around 8% in the last year. And three bedroom detached houses with a pool that are within walking distance to a town or village are highest in demand. They typically sell for around £245,000. So I'm hoping Keith is willing to be flexible. Before we get started, I'm meeting up with my house hunters on the banks of the River Garonne to find out what Keith is looking for and how Neil is going to help him. Thank you. Just how, how beautiful is it here? Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. So tell me a bit about your friendship. Yeah, I live in Gloucestershire and Keith moved into a village just above me two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was looking for friends and went on the net and guess who popped up? Oh. Um, and we met up and we just hit it off straight away. Absolutely. Absolutely straight Great away. Timing. Now, are yeah. you hoping to be able to use this holiday home Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. <laughs> He's in trouble if I don't. <laughs> so the French dream, Keith. Talk yeah. me through the type and style of property you're looking for. Really, I'm looking for something that, to me, is typically French. You're in a location with a village or a small town nearby where you can go to the boulangerie and the boucherie and the local market and absorb all that beautiful Frenchness. Two bedrooms is a minimum, really. I can't see myself being here full-time initially. So I think if there's that lock-up-and-go option or maybe some additional space that would be lettable, as it were, that would just help me, I think, one, to make the best of it and keep it, you know, um, over. Part of my retirement is the want to learn to paint, so a room with a view would be ideal. And we need to talk budget. Sure. Because your budget is £180,000, right? It is, that's right, with a smidgen of a wriggle room. And how much is the, the wriggle room? About five. Right. Um, I do appreciate there's going to be compromises, yeah. so whether it might be that it doesn't have quite the outside space or, you know, the rooms are going to be a little bit smaller or, yeah, I think the location is probably the prime to get right and I am yeah I am prepared to compromise yeah, I, think it's really I am definitely let's get on with Come on, let's go. Thank you. this sounds like it's going to be a really great house hunt even though Keith might not be able to get everything he wants for his budget he's fully aware he might need to compromise a bit and I really think I can find him somewhere he'll love on the way to our first property, we're stopping off to show Keith and Neil one of the fantastic towns that could be on their doorstep. 
Welcome to Ovila, which wow. is our first stop before we head to our first property. How amazing. Unbelievable. What a brilliant Absolutely find. unbelievable. Isn't it just gorgeous? Oh, and unsurprisingly amazing. voted the fourth prettiest village in France this year. I can see, I can see why. Yeah. There's some pretty good views from around here that you can probably see through there. Absolutely. Wonderful place. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love gorgeous. It. So how would you feel if I told you our first property was a four-minute drive from here, 22-minute walk? Excited. Oh, yeah. Wow. Definitely. Yeah. What are you hoping for? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go on. <laughs> Property number one is in the village of Espelay, on the other side of the Garonne River. Property price capital. So I'm really pleased to have found somewhere I think Keith will love for a little bit below his budget. Welcome to our first property. <gasps> wow. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> Why oh no? Why? What? It's that reaction? gorgeous. <laughs> it is. That is so you. Yeah. Why no is work. it so you? There's no work needed to it. It's, you know, it's clean, tidy. It's, but yeah, it's clean lines. great lines. It's got the character. It's got the chimney. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's got the pantel roof. Let me tell you what it is. This is a three-bed, two-bath property. It was built in 2010 that was renovated three years ago. It's only been on the market for three weeks. Really? Oh. So yeah. not long at all. Okay. And it's currently priced just under £170,000. Wow. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you did mention the idea of letting it out when you're not using it. Yeah. There's no separate guest accommodation here. Sure. So if you wanted to let out the entire property, yeah. you'd be looking at around six hundred pounds a week. Wow. Okay. Want to get inside? Yes. yes. Look at a bit more. Yeah. yeah. This house has a large garden with a covered patio area and an above-ground pool. The inside has been recently and stylishly renovated and consists of an open-plan living dining and kitchen space. The main bedroom with ensuite shower room and two more bedrooms for Neil to choose from. Look inside. Wow. So, Whoa. I want to know what you think about this lounge space. Beautiful. Absolutely stunned, really. I can tell by the huge smile on your face, Keith. Yeah, I'm blown away. It's just so me. Neil, let's talk about... Keith's cooking. Is this a kitchen you can oh, yes. imagine oh, cooking in? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I love the, the black worktops. Um, and it's minimalist again. It's beautiful. It's clean. It's tidy. Yeah, you'd be all right in there, wouldn't you? I think it's ideal. Should we head outside and look at the outside Come on, let's do it. Absolutely. <laughs> so I know you will have seen this as we were looking at the house on our initial approach. But I just thought we'd take it in a look in closer detail. The outside dining area. Great, lovely. Absolutely, absolutely lovely. The yeah, absolutely. yeah, I yeah love it's the, great. The cover, you know, it's going to get the sun all day. Yeah, in this heat, God. it's brilliant. Yeah. What would be on that table? Well, I know it's the wrong country, but tapas food, I think, it would be ideal. So some okay. salamis, some cold meats, cheese, artisan mm. bread. Well, look, it sounds like you've got it all planned out and you can picture yourselves here. Yep. Head inside, take a look around and I'll, I'll be waiting in the garden. Exciting. Only the first property and it feels like we've nailed it. Who knows what the next four are going to bring. Oh, right, utility room. Oh, oh my word. Really Double really shower. Nice. Look at that shower, kid. Okay? Yeah, it's great. Awesome. Great. Wow. <laughs> right. Oh, all right. Pool, a pool. A pool. Wow. I think it's bigger than it looks from over there. Yeah. I think it's ideal for a yeah. for a day like today. Plunge in there would be absolutely perfect. Delightful. Well, I couldn't have got a better reaction from Keith and Neil to this house, which is on the market for just under a hundred and seventy thousand pounds. And even though it's a bit early to count the chickens, I'm pretty sure it's going to be contender. Well, well, well. <laughs> We had a chance to explore inside. Absolutely. Outside. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And you know I said there was no guest accommodation? Yeah. Well. Oh. Guest accommodation! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no, come on. All, jo all jokes aside, so then, what, what are we thinking? I'm blown away. I am genuinely blown away. You know we've got four more houses to look at. I know. <laughs> it's going to take some meeting. I tell you, this is really I'm good. Really 
it's a really, really like it. So there's nothing you don't like about it at all. When you look at his remit, and it's there. It's the only thing that's not there, and it's not a negative, is the view. But four minutes that way, he's got a viewpoint and the awesome village and the views. So it's all here. Yeah. Right, well, we have got four more properties to see. And I'm just thinking, as you've loved this so much, are you happy for me to just throw some different things into the mix and see Absolutely. what it brings? Yeah, why not? So I've got a property I'd like to take you to next. So just keep an open mind. I will. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. What a simply superlative start. And even though Keith seems to have fallen in love with that house, I still reckon I can show him and Neil somewhere they'll like just as much, or maybe even more. The only thing it didn't have was a view. So en route to property number two, I'm taking my house hunters to arguably the best one around here to get Keith's creative juices flowing. En route to our next property, had to bring it here, Flasso Chateau, to look at this. Absolutely it's incredible, absolutely isn't stunning, it? Isn't it? One of the best viewpoints here. Without a shadow. It is absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Now, I know you um, you mentioned that you're, you're a keen artist. Yeah, I, I like drawing at the moment, which I do occasionally when I'm away on holiday or got a bit of downtime. And I use either pencils or charcoal, but I'd really like to learn to paint. So that's a part of the plan of being here, really. Could you just picture, picture absolutely. in there, Neil? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Easel. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Not too much wine yeah, though, otherwise yeah. the painting might, might. Oh, wow. that maybe might, that might improve maybe. the paint. More abstract. <laughs> <laughs> so look, let's talk about the view. We've got the vineyards, the chateau that's in the distance. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. Gordeville. Wow. And that is where we are headed for our second property. Oh, oh really? Right. Fifteen-minute drive away. Fantastic. Ready to go? Yeah, yeah definitely. Come on, let's go. Coming up, if Keith wants a house with a view, I can't wait to show them my next property, which even has separate guest accommodation. Today, I'm house hunting with Keith, who is looking for his dream holiday home in the beautiful countryside of Tarnet Garonne in southwest France. He's bought along with his pal Neil for some moral support. We've got off to a better start than I could have hoped. Our first property is a strong contender and I've got four left to show them. My house hunter Keith, who has a budget of £180,000 with an additional 5,000 wiggle room and Neil thought this three bedroom house was pretty fantastic. The only thing it didn't have was a view. So I'm delivering them exactly that with my next place. It's in the village of Gordeville, not far from my last property I showed them. The average price of a three-bedroom house with a pool round here is around £215,000. And I'm delighted to have found somewhere with an amazing five bedrooms for quite a lot less than that. The only proviso being it does need a bit of updating. Welcome to our second property. Wow. Now, yeah. this is a 1970s built okay. five-bedroom five property. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five bedrooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's got a pool. Wow. And, and and when I say pool, uh, it does look. It does need a bit of work. How would you feel about taking on a bit of a project? Okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, one of the things you did say you'd like to improve on is the view. So I'm thinking this is a house with improved views, particularly. Yeah. From. Yep. The rooms upstairs. Okay. Yep. What do you think? I think you could be right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been on the market now for six months, and it's currently priced at just under one hundred and seventy-two and a half thousand pounds. Okay. The other interesting thing I want you to consider. Sheets. Yes. Yeah. The property sort of split into two parts, so yeah. you yeah. could effectively. Yeah. You read your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Have a downstairs two-bed rental yeah. down here. Yeah. Three bedrooms upstairs. Yeah, for vice you. versa. Yeah, yeah. A property with possibilities. Be really good. It is a property with possibilities. I so let's head thing. to the pool because that's a pool Shall with we? possibilities. All right, <laughs> let's do that. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> See, inside on the upper floor, there's a light and bright living room, a study, a conservatory, dining room, and a kitchen, along with three good-sized bedrooms, a toilet and a bathroom. On the ground floor, there's an open plan living and dining room, a kitchenette, and a utility room, along with two more bedrooms, and a 
shower room. Plus, there's a garage. So, in the half acre plot here, you have your pool area. As I said, it was a, a bit of a project. A bit of a project, I think you're right. <laughs> I mean, it's well, huge, isn't it? It is, it's almost. Olympic size. Do we like this outside area? Can we see the potential? Absolutely, oh, gosh, yeah, totally. Wow, yeah, it, it could be absolutely incredible. So this is the living area oh. of the upstairs property. I think it's got possibilities. You know, all the furnishings and things would, would be changed. It's got a good feel to it. It's a great size. And I think it's got great possibilities. I am very pleasantly surprised now we've come in. Why are you surprised? I expected it to be a little bit run down and a little bit reflective of what's outside. And actually, albeit it's dated, it, it's quite a nice space. A room with a view was important. Yes. And I think this room with a view could be a wonderful artist's studio. So let's look. Cool. So, out here, Keith. Wow. Artist studio. I think initially speaking, I agree with you. I think it does sort of lend itself to that, but I think it could be multifunctional, really. It's definitely got possibilities. I think the trees may need a little bit of trimming yeah. back, but, you know, that's all doable, isn't it? And then I think the views would be amazing. Yeah, yeah really good, because you've got the hill there and the chateau on the top, but you need to take those trees. Yeah, and all that. Yeah, just cut them, cut them back. Yeah, cut them back. Well, look, I'd like you to go and explore this property now, and I will meet up with you afterwards. There's a lot to see. <laughs> Off you go. Thank you. Wow, it sounds as though Keith isn't put off by too much of this project, but can he manage it between being here and his time at home? Only time will tell. Wow. wow, this is bigger than I big expected. Space. Big space. For rental, this is a good size, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. needs some work. Oh, it needs some work, yeah. But, yeah. but it's got more potential again. Yeah. I think Keith was initially a bit overwhelmed by this house, which is on the market for just under £172,500. But once he and Neil got it, is it a stronger contender than our first property, or even a contender at all, is another question. And I can't wait to hear what the answer is. <laughs> interesting. Tardis, right? Very interesting. It's amazing, actually. <laughs> it is amazing. So is it a project you want to take on? If I was moving out now, it would be a challenge I'd relish, I think, because there's so much that could be done here. It would be superb, but I think a bit too much for now. So moving forward, then? I think something between the two that we've seen, really. OK, let's do it. Come on. Go on. So, no second contender there, but Keith did have a lot of good things to say about it. Before we visit property three, we're heading back to the River Garonne, so I can show the boys how to have fun on the water around here, despite being more than 100 miles from the seaside. So, Keith, we took you to that wonderful viewpoint as a bit of painting inspiration. Okay. I thought we'd stop off at Activity Lake for you, Neil. Uh-huh, yeah. Because a little birdie told me you're into your boats. Yeah, yeah. I, Tell me about that. Um, I did a bit of this sort of sailing in my early 20s. My friend had one of these. Okay. And then in later life, um, I had a river cruiser. Uh, has Keith been on, on the boat? <laughs> uh, he's been Temporary. on it, but I took him to the marina. And obviously a, a, a marina has these rising pontoons that go up and down with the and whatever. He only walked down the pontoon onto the boat and he's going no. <laughs> oh. no see you later I'm no. come on <laughs> so this wouldn't be for you then or would well it? I think maybe the pedalos would be a good starting point <laughs> you think well you could use this as painting inspiration Absolutely. what we could do is we could get Neil out on a boat yeah. and you yeah. could paint him I sit on the back perfect yeah. idea. there perfect you go idea. <laughs> but look, it's, it's a wonderful day out here lots on offer it's just a 20 minute drive from our next property Oh, Coming up, if Keith's looking for a more manageable property, I can't wait to show him my next place, this four-bedroom house with a beautiful, mature garden. Today, I'm in Tarn et Garon in France with would-be artist Keith, who is searching for his dream holiday home with the help of his friend Neil. I'm 
pleased to say we do have one contender, but I'm hoping to find some more to inspire Keith's artistic flair. Keith, who has a budget of £180,000 with an additional 5,000 wiggle room, thought this recently renovated house was a real masterpiece. And with three more properties to show him and Neil, I reckon I can paint an even better picture moving forward. Our next place in anywhere else we've been so far because of its proximity to the cities of Montabon and Toulouse. And with not much property for sale here, I'm chuffed to have found somewhere I think Keith will really love for a touch over his budget. So third property, the village house, which mm -hmm. is quite a sizable village house from here down to here. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm looking forward to looking inside. Yeah, I think it's very pretty and it's very French. So it's got four bedrooms, this property, and it's currently priced just over £181,000. The agent said there's a little bit of room for negotiating on that price. OK, OK. I'm not feeling you're as overwhelmed. <laughs> you. I don't know. I, just, uh, I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah. But it... No, I'm, I'm excited to go and have a look inside. But... From here, yeah, I'm not sure we're getting the the best view maybe or the best aspect of the house okay well you know if you want a better aspect should we stop in the garden first and take yeah. a look at the property from from there and so we can see it from Absolutely. Front, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. stopping off in the garden then is this a, a better aspect of the house definitely you can it looks a lot bigger than i thought it did from the road so. yeah much much so what about the garden? Is this more manageable for you? In terms of size, I think it's a lot, lot more manageable, but the way it's currently laid out, it's sort of way too full. <laughs> so you would want to just... Strip it all out. He would strip this right out. I know? mean, look, you've got vegetable plots here, and obviously they're, yeah. they're living here sure. full time, and so it's obviously easier for them to look after, but I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Yes, you probably would, would want to, to do that. Yeah. So shall we head inside and see how you feel? Come on, yeah, yeah. Come on then. please as well as the garden, which Keith seems keen to change a bit. This house also has a shed, a pool, and a covered terrace outside. Inside, there's a large lounge, a dining room, a kitchen with room to dine in, and another room used as a sewing room. The house also has no less than four bedrooms, all of which are very spacious, plus a bathroom and a shower room. There's also a garage which could be converted into accommodation. Now, in from the garden into the lounge then. Big. Very big. Yeah. Very full. Dark. Mm, there is dark. a serious lack of windows, isn't there? Yeah. I've got to be honest, judging on your reactions in the previous two properties, I'm not, I'm definitely not getting that. No, can I be French I want you to be 100% honest. It's not floating my boat at all. It's not clean lines. It's not light. It's not bright. Well, would you like to see a little bit more of it before well, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, on yeah. out? Yeah, I don't want to roll it out. No, it's no, just no. not, yeah, it's not floating my boat. So. What a surprise. Why a surprise? I'm going to say, I, I like, like this. I like it. Yeah, it's got character. Yeah. I actually like it. Yeah, there I, you go. I see. Wow, I think, it's really honestly. I think it's quite a nice, friendly little space. Go and explore the rest of the property. It's great that you've obviously changed your the way you feel about it from the living room to in here who knows how you're going to feel when you see the rest true off you go thank you thank you oh wow What's this, this is something else oh, isn't it? i reckon this is a workshop or a sewing room obviously my arty room well after not initially floating keith and neil's boats i'm feeling a lot more buoyant after their great reaction to the kitchen this house is on the market for just over £181,000, and fingers crossed I could be saving my way to another contender. Oh, how was that then when you had a, a good nosy round upstairs? The rooms I quite like actually because they've all got different characters, etc. Really good sizes. Um, I just think the overall, it's not really me. It's a bit too higgledy piggledy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm not buying a property, but. It wouldn't be for me, and I really don't think it's for him. Moving on from here, then, something a little less higgledy piggledy, less quirky, clearer garden. And how about I try and work on something with a room with a view? I think that sounds spot on. Yeah? Yep. Let's go. So, lots of positives there, but unfortunately, it's not a contender. And I think Keith really wants somewhere neat and tidy for his ideal holiday home. Before we
to our next place, which I'm hoping could be just that. We're stopping off in a village not far away in the southwest of the region to try out one of France's favourite pastimes. Welcome to the Boulodrome. Bet you haven't been to one of those before. No, no. In La Vie. <laughs> Fantastic. Do you like a bit of French ball? I think I'm going to do it. Absolutely, yeah. Well, this is actually, like, I brought you here because there's a really lovely community here and it's just four minutes from our next property. Wow. And, wow. um... All French ball. Actually, this is Patank we're going to give a go. Yeah. That's the jack there. That little red ball okay. is the jack. Yeah. And we have to stand in this circle. Okay. And not get the And jack we have to get it as close to the red ball as possible. Oh! 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 <laughs> right, come on then, Keith. You're up next. I think it's you know, a really... Oh! oh! Neil, up next. Up next. Do you think this is somewhere you might want to come and spend the afternoon? Definitely, yeah, yeah it's been amazing. Yeah, very good. And as you can see, it's a very, very busy place. There's a lovely community here, and I can't wait to show you the next house, which is just four minutes. Anything to worry about competition-wise? We could all do with a bit of practice, but there's no time for that now. Property number four is just down the road on the edge of the village of Jansac, which is very popular with German buyers in particular. Prices here are on the low for the region, so I've been able to find Keith a very clean and stylish place for a little bit below budget. Welcome wow. to wow. <laughs> which feels a bit like a ski chalet. I think it does, oh, yeah. Come and on. you like a bit of skiing, don't I you? Do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what you're about to look at is a three bed, one bath property with a gym, a sauna, some spectacular views. Oh yeah. And as you're looking at it, how do you feel about the lines? Because I know we've mentioned the clean lines. Much better. Much, much better. This place is on the market for £175,000. Okay. I think there might be a bit of room to negotiate on that price as well. But I'd like you to look around this one on your own. All right. And I will be outside waiting. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Great. In you go. Thank you. Go for it. <laughs> go for it. I genuinely can't to hear what they've got to say about this property it definitely has character is it the french dream we'll wait and see this house has half an acre of garden and a covered terrace area inside there's a large entrance hall come study a spacious open plan living and dining room with a superb view a separate kitchen the main bedroom with an ensuite shower room a second bedroom on the mezzanine and a third room with a bed, gym equipment, and a sauna for hot nights all year round. Oh, seriously, wooden, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Wow, oh. room with a view, eh? Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. You can sit out there and paint, mate. Love that, love that. Well, I like the open plan. I do like open plan, but there's a lot of wood. I don't know where I know the wood. use it yeah. for anything this room, yeah. couldn't you? Feet on. Yeah, yeah it's not good purpose, doesn't that for me, a gym? Absolutely. Uh, oh, good size Ooh, I like this room. Yeah, it's a bedroom. Little door. Mezzanine. Oh, yeah. Good art space. Yeah. Yeah. Unusual. Unusual. This house, which is on the market for bang on £175,000, definitely delivers the clean lines and style Keith is so keen on. But it's a unique place and very different from everywhere else I've shown him and Neil. Come on out from that ski chalet. Ski <laughs> chalet. Indeed. Yeah. How was it then? Um, I don't get it. Oh. Oh. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm going to leave the comments to Keith on this because yeah. I'm far too biased because I don't like wood. But... He didn't tell me that from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm always intrigued. I am intrigued, and it's an interesting property. It's just not me. I don't, I don't get any of the spaces or any of the layout. As an artist, sort of weekend, sort of retreat, I could maybe see it as that and come out. Well, I thought I could you might like here. all the art in there and be inspired. Absolutely, right? absolutely, but not as a home, and I can't see somebody wanting to rent it. Okay, well that's that then. We won't talk about this anymore. We're going to draw a line under it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 
love the view. Mm. Let me see what I can do with that final property. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Coming up, I hope to get a rival for my current sole contender with this country house with a huge garden. I'm liking what we've seen so far. I'm what is it? Is it the character? Yeah. Today I'm house hunting with Keith and best friend Neil. Keith is looking for a property in the stunning countryside of Tarnet Garonne in France that he can one day make his forever home. I've got one contender in the bag and one last chance to impress. That contender is this stylishly renovated house in the village of Espelay. But I think Keith, who has a budget of £180,000 with an additional 5,000 wiggle room, might like my fifth and final place. This country house with a big outbuilding just as much, or maybe even a little bit more. But before we go there, I'm looking at the high end of the property market here in Tarn et Garonne. And I found a lovely chateau close to the town of Lourange. This is a real country estate with 116 acres of land. The main house has seven bedrooms and there are two more outbuildings used as jeet accommodation as well as all the extra additions you'd expect to find. I'm meeting the agent for a good nose around. Hi, Emily. Hi, Lovely Laura. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Wow, what a, what a driveway. Yes, indeed. And what a property. I can't wait to see it. Can you show me inside? Yes, of course. Thank well, you. <laughs> Well, that is some entrance hall. So what is the, the history of the property? So it was built in the 19th century mm -hmm. by a Parisian. He was married to a South American woman. And you can see her inspiration in the floors here with the flowers and in the living room also, the moldings on the, the ceilings and the pipes on the, the wow. walls. Is this the formal lounge? Yes, it is, exactly. Okay. And, and I love the fact that it's on the, the doors as well as the walls. It feels like it could be the, the perfect boutique hotel. Yes, a bed and breakfast. You have enough bedrooms and bathrooms to do it here. And there's a, a pool and tennis court as well? Yes, there is. So amazing facilities if it were to be a boutique Exactly, hotel. yes. Can we see those? Of course. You follow me? Thank you. Such a, a lovely pool area. And you can see the extent of the grounds here too, right? Yes, you have nice shoes on the horse's paddock there. How much is the property on the market for? It is uh, on the market for £2 million. And has there been much interest? Yes. I can imagine. <laughs> I mean, it really does lend itself to a, a hotel, in my opinion. Yes, or a family house. Well, thank you so much You're for showing welcome. me the property. Thank Good you. luck with the sale. Thank you. Got to get back to my house, and Yes, of course. I'll show you out. Thank you. <laughs> Well, if that place does ever open as a hotel, I'm definitely booking myself in for a week or two. And if Keith is living here, then I can invite him and Neil over for dinner. Before we visit our fifth and final property, we're making a quick stop off to sample a little, but not too much, of something this part of France is famous for. Well, we've seen French markets, we've seen views, we've been to lakes, and uh, we've played French balls. Indeed, we have. We can head to our next house without stopping off at one of the local wineries. We're going to try the wine that this place is, is most known for, the black wine. So have a little little taste of it and let me know what you think. I'm guessing you like red wine. I certainly <laughs> would. Oh yes. What do you think of that? Wow, that's nice. That is delicious. Yeah, it's quite, how would you describe it? Uh, it's full bodied really, full very fruity. Dry, very fruity, really nice. What food do you think this would pair well with? I think duck from the region obviously would be superb, but um, yeah, red meat, I think. Cassoulet, Game. maybe cassoulet. Of course. Well, you can buy a bottle of that for £6.50. Really? Really? And um, the, the barrels that you see behind us, the, yeah. the wine is obviously uh, producing the vats and then it goes into the barrel for a year. Yeah. And then it's exported all over the world. We are going to head to our final property, 15 minute drive away. Driver awaits. Let's go. Well, if my final property goes down as well as wine we'll probably be celebrating with another bottle or two but i'm not getting carried away just yet it's in the village of gasque close to the town of valence a very popular and unfortunately for keith pricey part of the region so i've had to go a bit over his maximum budget with this one welcome oh, wow. to our final property Ooh, <laughs> right in front of us here is a three bed property set in two acres of land 
£194,000. Now it's on the market for just under £194,000. So I appreciate that is over your budget, but the agent has said to us she she's pretty confident that they would accept an offer around your top budget, including your wiggle room. Yeah. Neil, too much wood, the shutters there, or is that OK? <laughs> Perfect. That's where wood should be, on shutters. <laughs> Final one. Very nice. Very nice okay. one. This house has a huge garden and lovely terrace looking into the countryside. Inside there's a dining room, separate kitchen and the main lounge, as well as two smaller rooms, two bedrooms and another bedroom currently used as an office as well as a stylish shower room. There's also a garage and a large outbuilding which could be converted into a sheet. Inside. So this room they're currently using as a dining room, as you can see. To be honest, I quite like it as a dining room at the moment, not having seen the rest of the house, obviously. But, yeah, it lends itself. But, yeah, it could be used for a number of things, actually, I think. I'm liking what we've seen so far. What is it? Character. Is it the character yeah. that's doing it for yeah. you? I think, yeah. yeah. And it's got a good feel. Yeah, it does. Let's head into the kitchen. I want to show you that space next. OK. Come with me. So come on through to your kitchen. Watch your head on the corner there. What do you think about this room? Yeah, I oh. like it. Quaint, be Yeah, authentic. Com comparing it to the kitchen in the first property we saw. Yes. Um, actually, though, I mean, it still works. I've got to say, obviously, it's a, it's a little older, etc. And it wouldn't have been my maybe my initial choice. Actually, it's not too bad. I think it fits in with the house. house. OK, yeah. look, I'm going to show you some more. I'm going to show you the terrace outside and then I'm going to send you off to explore. OK. Had to bring you back out here to yeah. the terrace. Yeah, beautiful. Nice bit of shade, nice spot with your easel. I mean, is there a view that you can you can paint there, or do you...? I think maybe if I was just going to do some of the trees, but I think more so, as you say, just to be out here and paint and have, you know, something I'm copying or whatever, or just imagine something. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's a beautiful terrace. I think you need to take a look around this one on your own because I do want you to get your head around the layout and how you might use the rooms available in there, and then we can meet up and discuss what you think. Cool. Off yeah. you go. I think it's really important these guys take a good look and give Property One a run for its money. Oh. Oh. What's this? That's a bit strange. It's a bit yeah. odd. What's your reckon? This music room, reading room. A bit odd. Wow. This is a really good space, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I really like it. I yeah. sort of see this as being maybe a sheet. Yeah, absolutely. Converting this. Something with it. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Work. Sounds awesome. Work. While I wouldn't say Keith and Neil were blown away by this house, which is on the market for a negotiable just under £194,000, they do seem pretty keen on it and the potential it's got. And I think I potentially have myself another contender. Come on down. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Laura. So oh, did you dear. and could you get your head around how you'd use the rooms, the space? Uh, yes, I think so. I think so. Um, yeah, I'm actually, this is a contender. <gasps> yes. We need to go back now to property one. This obviously is very fresh. We need to get that fresh aspect of property one and then we can do a proper comparison. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how to read you, but that is all good. Yeah. So I can sort that out for you, and then we can have a chat about what you want to do. Brilliant. Yeah, okay. good stuff. If you'd like more information on any of the properties featured on today's show, go to placeinthesun.com forward slash programs. Keith and Neil went back to property number one later in the day, while I managed to put my feet up for a bit to decide if it or the last place we looked at is going to be the one for them. Keith has a budget of £180,000 with an additional 5000 wiggle room, and now he and Neil have had some time to talk things through with both properties fresh in their minds. I can't wait.
Find out what their next move is going to be. Keith and Neil, you've come to the end of your property search. I know. The search for the French dream. Let's talk about where we uh, we last left you. <laughs> we were at our final property, Property 5. That was a contender, and I sent you back off to have a quick look around the first property that has been well and truly embedded in your minds from the beginning. Well, what happened when you went back? Just confirmed, I think, everything that I thought originally. Did you? I walked in and said, ah, we're in Keith's kitchen. And he said, this is home. Yeah, well, that's it then, isn't it? Property one, the French dream. It is indeed. <laughs> so what are you going to do? What would you like to do? Market for just under £170,000. Now, you came out here with a budget of £180,000. What would you like to do? I want to put in a really cheeky, cheeky, of cheeky... Of course you are. <laughs> very <laughs> cheeky offer. How cheeky are we talking? Well, I'm very cheeky. So I'm thinking, can we go 162? OK, how did you come up with that figure? I'm just trying to think. There are a few things that I'd really like to do with that property. As you know, the plunge pool is lovely as a starter, but I think I'd like to put in a, a proper pool, as I'd call pool. it. Yeah, if I could. So it is the French dream, but you'd like to improve it a little bit, and that's how you've come up with the offer. So £162,000. Let's do it then. Let's put in the offer. Hi, Ben. It's Laura calling from Replacing the Sun. Hello, I'm just with Keith and Neil and we are discussing the modern three-bedroom bungalow property that we saw with you close to Ovala. Um and Keith is extremely interested in the property and would like to put forward an offer. Um, now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but Keith's um, in a position ready to go, cash buyer um, and would like to move as quickly as possible. So his offer is £162,000. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Well, he, he didn't <laughs> sound overly excited, if I'm honest. He was like, oh, OK, yeah, I'll, I'll run that part. Yeah, it's only been on the market for three weeks, remember that property. Sure. Yeah, of course. So not, not long at all. Hi, Ben. OK. Thanks, Ben. Speak soon. Bye. Bye. Well, 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 Keith. They've come back with a counter-offer. OK. Right. The counter-offer is they will accept an offer of £164,000 and they want to leave most of the furniture. <laughs> no way. <laughs> right, job done. Really? Yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> Just um, pick the phone. <laughs> yeah. Can I you mean, say what? yes quickly before he changes his mind? <laughs> so we say yes. Yeah. I mean, you want the furniture? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Hi, Ben. You've got yourself a deal. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, bless him. He said, Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Your French you dream. Your <laughs> French dream. Wow. It's happened. How do you oh feel? Oh, emotional. <laughs> oh, I'm so... Cheers, Laura. Thank you so much. Well done, mate. You've done it. What an absolutely incredible result for Keith and his friend, Neil. We finally made that childhood dream a reality. I wish him many happy holidays in his new French home. Thank you.